Explore Vermont. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Sarah. And we have made our way to the Killington Adventure Center. Behind us you can see there's trampolines, there's the tubing, the mountain coaster, there's the sky ride, there's jumps, there's everything you want to have fun here and we're going to have fun. We have a pretty exciting episode for you in store. We sure do. We're going to catch up with Jeff Alexander. He's going to tell you more about the attractions here at Killington because Kate only touched the surface. We're also going to catch up with Kim Peters. She's going to tell us all about the fun town events going down here in Killington this summer. And speaking of events, there's the Killington Music Festival here in town with some talented, talented musicians. And we're going to catch up with them over at Ramsden. Yeah, they are incredibly talented. We're so lucky to have them here. We're also going to go hiking, do a little Thundering Brook Falls. Yeah. Everyone's down for that. It's a great hike. Especially the dogs. Yes, the puppies. We're going to catch up with Bettina and get the rundown on the Hubbard and Battlefields, a piece of Vermont's history. We are also going to open up the vault and check out the Queechee Balloon Festival, which is such an incredible event. So much going on. But with that said, I think Jeff Alexander is going to tell you guys more about the mountain attractions while Kate and I go tackle these fun rides behind us. You want to do it? I think we should Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll see yeah. you up there. I have caught up with Jeff Alexander here at the Snowshed Adventure Center. How are we doing today? Oh, great. Beautiful day out here. Beautiful day. It does not get any better than this. We are in the midst of summer just passed through July 4th, and we've got so much coming up. But Killington has really been doing some improvements. You wanna go through what's new, cool, and exciting here? We have, you know, we've uh, spent some capital expenditures here to improve uh, what we have and our offerings that we already have. Uh, you know, right now we actually, uh, we spent about $125,000 on new trays on our lifts on Ram's Head and Snowshed. So now we're not lifting the bike and, and loading it. It's a, a customer service load. Just drive it right in. And you can get three bikes on that lift, uh, each lift. So uh, you know, it's helping uh, improve the the flow and, yep. and the uh, the volume of folks. Uh, uphill travels a bit, a little bit more than uh, we've had in the past. That's awesome. Definitely, you know, and that's helping us because uh, you know we're continuously working on the trails. Uh, we're actually spending another three hundred thirty thousand dollars this year on trails, and uh, we have two brand new ones that are going to be online soon. Uh, they come right off of uh, Rams Head. Uh, one is an intermediate flow trail, top to bottom, and the other trail is kind of a, a mix of a new and old school root and rock and flow. And that's going to come off the top to the bottom again. Uh, we're going to have a connector trail. That's uh, so that'll be like our third trail in there, and uh, it's going to be great, you know. Fine. And we're still improving here at Snowshed as well. We have uh, we're going to be bringing Hammer, which is a green trail, and uh, Rabbit Hole, which is more of a tech blue trail, um, all the way down to the bottom. Fantastic. Yeah. And you also mentioned too, there's a new skills course out front. Awesome new skills course, uh, right hand side of the parking lot, right in that grove of pines. Uh, it's, a, it's a pump track, but skills course, it's a great way to, uh, to get yourself together. You know, check your bike before you actually get out on the trails. I should probably start there. You might want to go there, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a ton of new stuff with mountain biking, but there's also been some new attractions added to the Adventure Center as well. Oh yes, we've kicked off flyboarding now, right in the pond behind us. I'm sorry, what is flyboarding? Flyboarding is awesome. So you're in there, you basically have a board on your feet and you're, you're tethered to a, a jet ski. And when that jet ski fires up, it forces water through the bottom of your boots and you actually levitate over the water. You can go up to about 35, 40 feet off the water. Hovering off the water. Hovering off the water with water as your propulsion. Oh and my gosh. It is super cool, let me tell you. That sounds really cool. <laughs> Definitely. You know, and then we added a few things over at Ramstead. We have um, some paintball, it's a low impact paintball. And we also have a laser tag and a little shooting range over there as well. Oh man. So just diversifying <laughs> the offerings, you know. I think I might try the laser tag. I know you said it's low impact paintball, but yeah. I'm not sure I believe you. Well, you know, you still, yeah, exactly. You still <laughs> might get a little bit of a wealth with that. Maybe a little singing, singing action going no on. No doubt. And you know, one of my other favorite uh, attractions that we just added is right behind us is Bocce Court. Yeah. You know, so you can come in here and grab bocce balls from the, uh, the rental shop and uh, Awesome way to just enjoy yourself, have a cold beer, and uh, play Absolutely, some Absolutely, because the Umbrella Bar is also right there, which exactly. is perfect. And you know, you we're having live that. music at the Umbrella Bar on Friday nights. Oh, good to so, know. So, you know, kick off your weekend early, nice happy hour. Awesome, and awesome. You, and then we also, uh, you know, we realized that folks were coming to the peak and, you know, we weren't open long enough for food and yeah. for, for, uh, for beverage. So we've extended lunch down to 3 o'clock in the afternoon and we extended bar service till 6 p.m. at night. So you wow. can hang out and uh, watch sunset. That's awesome. That sounds fantastic. 
So just a rundown, we've got new and improved mountain biking trails, the new trays, we've got the skills course, we've also got the new attractions, the flyboard, we've got paintballing, laser tag, bocce ball, umbrella bar. It's all here. Wow. And we're constantly evolving and constantly improving. We've got a lot of things on the slate for next year, and that's just this year in a nutshell. That's fantastic. So if you haven't made your way up here to Killington, make sure you do so because you're missing out on all the fun attractions. And Jeff, I think we covered everything, right? I think you did. Maybe we'll go uh, hit some of these new features. I think we should. I think we should. Definitely. Kate and I have been trying a few things already, so yeah. I'd like to get out there and do a few more. Definitely. But there's also a ton of events coming up in town. We're going to catch up with Kim Peters from the rec department, and she's going to give us a rundown on events that you can visit up here as well, like music and other things. So stay tuned for Kim. Peters, Events and Marketing Director of Killington Town, and we have made our way to the Killington Library here on River Road, where if you have not made it here yourself, you're missing out because it is absolutely beautiful. It's got a beautiful view going down the valley this way, and the views here are just stunning, absolutely stunning. And this is one of the main places for some of the events that are going on here right. in Killington, not just one of the events, there's a lot more going on, so I, well, I'm gonna let you tell us about right, it. Right, so we start off the season on July 4th. We have a huge um, parade that takes place with all the kids. They finish up at the pool with a nice barbecue. And then right after that, right into July, we get into uh, the River Roads Concert Series, which is here Thursday nights. We bring in local bands. Um, come with a family, come by yourself park your chair out and have a great picnic, dinner picnic with your family. And then on Saturdays, we have Cooler in the Mountains. Long Trail uh, brings in Cooler in the Mountains for us up at the Snowshed Lodge. And um, those are on Saturdays beginning July 15th. And right before that, uh, we have the Wine Festival, which goes on July 14th and 15th. And it's a great way to start the day and then end at Cooler in the Mountains. Man, there's like no lack of events going on here. I mean, so you've mentioned the concert here, series here on Thursday, and I know they've got like Aaron Audette and Chad Hollister, many more bands coming in for that. We've got the wine festival coming up. Yes. I know there's a chili cook-off that you guys do as well. Tons of events coming up in August, and you can check that out on Discover Killington. Yeah. Um, and I know that they just announced the bands for Cooler in the Mountains, yeah, so which the, is pretty cool. Yes, we're very excited about the lineup, and make sure you check out Discover Killington and the local newspapers to see the lineup. Or you can stay tuned because the concert calendar is coming up right now. Welcome to Killington TV's entertainment calendar brought to you by Tin Cup Mountain Whiskey, American whiskey cut with Rocky Mountain water. Mountain Summer Concert Series returns to Killington Resort for the 2016 season. Top names from the national music scene will be taking the stage for eight free outdoor shows every Saturday from July until September. 
So grab a lawn chair, a beach blanket, the whole family, and head to the Snowshed Adventure Center for this family-friendly event. With live music, great scenery, and plenty of outdoor fun, it's always cooler in the mountains. Produced by the Town of Killington and presented by Long Trail Brewing, Barrel Distributing, and Casella Waste Management. Man, where's Mario? When in Killington, Vermont, and you want some truly great pizza, Dominic's is where you want to be. We make our dough here in the restaurant every day. Every pizza is hand-tossed to order and topped with the freshest ingredients. You can taste the freshness. Don't worry about it, guys. I got this one. Hi, my name is Caitlin Hummel. I work with ERA Mountain Real Estate in Killington, Vermont. This stunning mountain home is nestled in a beautiful community right behind Green Mountain National Golf Course. A large eat-in chef's kitchen, open dining and living room centered around a beautiful stone-faced fireplace and inviting sunroom are only the beginning of the beauty this home includes. Located just minutes from the Killington Road, yet tucked away in peaceful privacy, you will have the best of both worlds. For more information or to set up a showing, please contact me, Caitlin Hummel, at ERA Mountain Real Estate. This is the best farmer's market in Vermont and possibly in New England, and you can find just about any food you're looking to eat here. Rutland is is uh, privileged to have one of the few 52-week-a-year markets, and it feeds an economy, not just the people. The farmer's market here is open every Saturday and every Wednesday. Wednesdays from 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock, and Saturdays from 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock. And we'd really welcome everybody to come visit us. High-quality mattress, luxury linens, and bedding provide our guests with the most restful sleep. Enjoy our supple leather seating in front of our massive stone fireplace, a rustic ski lodge setting like no other. Savor great custom made to order cocktails in the marble bar, supplemented with a fine dining menu, Vermont craft beers, and California's best wines. Highline Lodge, enjoy your stay, leave the rest to us. Welcome back. We are here at the Killington Adventure Center where we are chipping away at our ride game. And our ride game is on point, just so you know. But first, we're going to have you guys head over to Hubbard Inn, which is by Castleton, and we're going to get a little history lesson on the Hubbard Inn battlefield. Ah! 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 As we explore Vermont today, we've made our way over to Hubberton Battlefield. We are feeling very honored and blessed to be here with Carl, tenured professional and uh, historian here at the Battlefield site. Tell us a little bit about the history of Hubberton Battlefield. Um, well, to begin with, the, the date of the battle is probably the easiest date of all time to remember. It's all sevens. July is the seventh month, the seventh day of 1777. Um, the other thing that makes it unique is that we are the only battle to actually occur totally in Vermont during the American Revolution. The uh, fields, as you look at them right now, if you look around, you're seeing probably what the soldiers saw when they first got here that day. Uh, the reason being that this is not only where the heavy part of the fighting took place right around this building, but this is also where the town of Hubbardton was at that time. And there were nine families that made up the town. Being here for a couple of years, they cleared these fields out. So you're, we're actually being written up as one of the more pristine battlefield sites in the country now. Was it considered a turning point battle or just um, more notable because it was all the way in Vermont? Overall, it was the beginning of the end for Burgoyne's campaign of 77. Uh, this was the first time during his campaign that American troops actually stayed and fought his British troops to a standstill. And because it was just the American rear guard that was here, they actually did their job before they left. And I don't think people understand that, but 
Um, the, Ameri the, Brit excuse me, the British usually get the victory in the history books because they were the last ones here. Um, they held the field. But like I said, the Americans had done their job as a rear guard and their main job was to slow up pursuers so the main body could get away. They definitely did that. So it was the beginning of the end for Burgoyne. Well, this is a humbling experience, like I said, and I'm so grateful for your time. Again, you can learn so much more as you enter the museum, and we do hope that as you are exploring Vermont, you make sure you make a stop here with the whole family. Thank you, Bettina, for catching us up on the Hubbard and Battlefield, such an incredible place and such an important part of history. If you're in the Castleton area, be sure to check out the Zen Gardens, which are right by the Hubbard and Battlefield. And really amazing. I don't know if you've been, but peaceful. I haven't. You should I haven't. Go. Shame on me. I have not been over. And now that I've seen this, I want to. It's like my number one place I want to go. I bet it is. Yeah, yeah it is. Good. Up next, Kate, we're going to take a look at a talented group of young adults. I mean, absolutely amazing. These kids are going to be in Carnegie one day, but they come here to Killington to play for the Killington Music Festival. So let's see what they've got going on. I chose to come to Killington, one, because it was a chamber music festival and I wanted to work on my chamber music skills, and two, because my teacher was going to be teaching here and I wanted to continue my studies with her. I think it's really just that intimacy and personal connection that you get with all the students and the faculty. I've never felt like I was sort of by the wayside or anything. I always felt like I had a very, just a lot of personal attention that gave me the ability to make progress really fast. Being in an environment with so many musicians is just wonderful. With normal friends, you sit down, maybe watch a two-hour movie, but here I've sat down with a fellow cellist and watched a two-hour opera straight through. Listening to a 27-minute piece of music doesn't seem strange here, and I, and I enjoy it greatly. Working with Alondra was, I think, my favorite part of the summer. I loved her. Um, I mean, putting aside the fact that she was so clear and so precise and so easy to follow, she was just, she just exuded like this love for music that you couldn't help but just catch. I'd never worked with, um, really worked with a female conductor that was so good. I think as humans we put these ceilings on like what it is that we're able to do because of what other people have done before, especially I think as women there's just you, these moments where you're like oh it's always a guy standing there you know putting his hand up to get everyone to move and to see her do that it just made me really think like maybe this is something I could do. It was really I mean, it was life-changing for me, so. What an absolutely gifted group of individuals. I mean, absolutely stunning. The Killington Music Festival, we're so lucky to have it here in Killington. And they do a concert every Saturday night over at Ram's Head. Tickets available there, so don't miss out. Make sure you get your booty there. And you can also check out more, killingtonmusicfestival.org. They really are an incredibly talented group of individuals and we really encourage you to check out their concerts while they're here. In the meantime, I think we're going to get some hiking done. Mm -hmm. What else should we do? We might go to the vault later, maybe check out the Queechee Balloon Festival Ooh, we get or something else. You never know, we like to surprise you with that one. You don't know but what you're doing. stay yes. tuned for more Explore Vermont after this.
espresso bar, specialty cocktails, art gallery, and restaurant. Liquid Art is the place in Killington to get ready for your day and unwind when it's over. We invite you to enjoy work by local artists while dining on healthy fare, signature drinks, and specialty coffee in an atmosphere that is relaxed, cozy, and unlike anything else on the mountain. Stop in for open mic night, our jam, Sunday night supper, or try one of our raved about monthly wine dinners. Killington's Coffee House, where everything is a work of art. Liquid Art, the bright blue building two miles up the Killington Road. Sal here from Mogul Sports Pub. You know, the only sports pub in Killington. Mogul's offers free mini golf, air conditioning, two pool tables, dot board, and TVs everywhere. Plus the best game room around. And if you're hungry, we offer wood-fired burgers, steaks, gyros, barbecue ribs, and of course, the best lobster deal in town. So just pop in at Mogul's and say, Sal sent me. See you there. The Red Clover Inn is the intimate Vermont experience you've been dreaming of. Tucked away in the shadow of Pico, this beautiful country inn is known for its stylish accommodations in a secluded setting. There's exceptional farm-to-table dining that is both casual and elegant, where cuisine becomes a true work of art. And with event facilities that can handle everything from romantic weddings to secluded business retreats, you'll be sure to come away with memories that last a lifetime. It's just minutes from Killington Pico, but a whole different world. Get away from it all at the Red Clover Inn in beautiful Menden, Vermont. Maniac Gold is clear and crisp and light. Maniac Mac is for those that like it a little sweeter, but it also has it a little bit of a bite that really sets it apart. And it's cool and refreshing and good. It's what I like. Cider is great because everything's new. There's really a space to come in and introduce a new product. Try it. You'll believe. Happy hound dog. Yeah. All right, so, okay, here we go, sit down. Woohoo, Woo yeah, me. Okay, Thunder Rayburg Falls is probably one of Sophie's favorites. She doesn't like being on a leash very much, but we just passed a family, and she's not as good as Mika is, so you we know, put her on a, a leash. Little older. Yeah, you know, different areas in Vermont, and especially, you know, anywhere, and we're on the Appalachian Trail, so there's different rules and regs. You have to watch out where their dogs have to be on a leash, or if they don't have to be on a leash, we'll let her run a little bit later. But yeah. right now, it's best to keep her with us. Good girl, so. It is important to check in, know where you are, know what responsibilities you have as a dog owner. Always important to carry in, carry out, leave no trace of our furry little friends. Absolutely. And another one that we talk about a lot is bringing water for the dogs. This one, there's water at the end and along the way, but these guys get thirsty and we gotta yeah. take care of them. Sit down. And while we're prepared, and I I know the dogs are ready to get to the falls to go for a little swim. Why don't you guys check out some more popular hikes in the area while we go check out the falls? Let's go, ladies. You ready, Stop little me? Come on, lead Come the way. On. Let's go.
You know what I love about this hike, Rara? What's that, Kate? That it's handicap accessible all the way to the falls. It is handicap accessible all the way to the falls, and it's only about 10 minutes long. That's <laughs> what I like about it. Well, Sarah, we've made it to the falls. Oh my God, Katie, it is beautiful. Isn't it great? It's so nice to have something to look forward to, to make it all the way. Absolutely. My favorite kind of hikes are either hikes where you can go on a full loop and see different things, mm -hmm. or hikes that really have an end game for you to look forward to. And some of the hikes we mentioned earlier also have really cool views or lakes or whatever that they end at. So you have to check them out. You really do. There's so much beauty around here. Yeah. Hamika. The dogs love it. Life is good. Yeah. And the best part about the falls hike as well is you can continue on the AT up to Camp Pond or there's some trails around the falls itself that you can explore. So why don't you yep. say we go check them out? I think we should explore. All right, let's go explore. Explore. Sophie, show us the way. Come let's on. go, baby girl. Do you know how long Killington TV has been around for? Okay, I think it's been around for somewhere of like 30-ish years. Ish. 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 Right around there. I'm gonna uh, guess. I'm gonna take a guess. But because it's been around for 30-ish years, ish. there are a lot of From the Vault segments that we get to throw at you. So let's check out our newest one. Ooh. Music for background, volleyball for exercise, and skydivers for entertainment are all a part of the festival and the anticipation of the main attraction. Sarah, I don't know about you, but I love when we look at things from the vault. It's pretty cool. I mean, I believe that piece was shot in 1991. So, I mean, we're looking at almost 30 years of history in the making. So fun. For Killington TV. Should we make more history? We're definitely making more memories right here at the Adventure Center, which, by the way, has so much to offer. We're on the deck here at the Umbrella Bar, and it's beautiful. I mean, you can sit right down by the water. You can watch the zip line go by. We've got the tubing in front of us, the ropes course, the Soaring Eagle, cold beer inside. Cold beer. Inside, cold beer. <laughs> For always, Sarah. always For be Sarah. responsible. Don't drink and drive and be safe. But, you know, it's just such a fun place to come to. It's great for the whole family. You can have fun on your own if you want, or you can bring everyone. There's something for everyone here. It's truly mm -hmm. a blast. And I think Kate and I have touched on most of the rides at this point, but we've got a few more to go do. So we're going to wrap up the show and finish out our day on some more rides. But if you want to catch up with us some more, you can always check us out on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, or KillingtonTV.com. And if you want to know more about Killington itself, Killington.com is a great resource. So let's go get our ride on a little bit more. I think we should. No breaks. No breaks. No breaks. <laughs> Stay classy, Killington. Till next time. Bye, guys.